definition. But if you know what, how many difficulties, mm. uh, because of the federalism, <laughs> <laughs> that probably, uh, probably it is a good way. And it is also what we said in another sense here, step by step. Uh, these are problems who have been to attack step by step. It cannot be a global uh, solution and so on. Um, in another, in another sense, it is the same. Economists began with one library and then another with enormous difficulties with Swiss libraries, no help uh, by federal institutions uh, as the Swiss National Foundation or, and so on. Uh, <coughs> and uh, Christoph Rüder and the members of the committee, as myself, would like to have a centralized. <laughs> uh, Governments uh, in that, uh, of that uh, project. <laughs> but uh, uh, if one step is realized, this step uh, stands. Mm -hmm. And then we can build up. And this is Switzerland. Um, so the discussion is open to, to uh, the floor for all uh, these uh, kind of, of, also of new problems, particularly images. International problem, and uh, uh, just I would like to connect with the other uh, need to cooperate between librarians and scholars that yes. was made before. And uh, maybe this is uh, the right direction. Uh, and uh, the, mm, we had experience with Malatistiana, but I think that this could be the future uh, because with the if the librarians are decreasing, the, specialized, the specialization required for, to handle manuscripts are uh, increasing and uh, it's uh, impossible maybe in the future to have a librarian who is a specialist together in medieval manuscripts, in oriental manuscripts so, and so on. <clears throat> so one of the, uh, of the um, maybe our solution is just try to to get a sort of uh, uh, collaborative catalog of crowdsourcing. And I know there, is a, there are other experiences also they need for special sector, like uh, this is my experience with Islamic manuscripts at the Michigan University, they made this uh, experience of uh, collaborative cataloging. And this was not so, you know, of course it needs to, uh, mm, to have maybe it needs a step behind from librarians. Uh, 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 you, you don't have to uh, imagine a, a, a sort of catalog like we are accustomed to do. Uh, maybe it's something different. But this is, I think, this is the only way to have the data necessary for database. Uh, well, I could say that uh, would be impossible at present being for us, for the parents working in Italy, but I don't say to introduce a data in the everyday work we have to do. You have to do uh, catalog, uh, cataloging, you have to do front office, you have to do uh, other work. So, so there is uh, uh, no possibility to have the uh, cataloger like uh, maybe 10 years ago, 20 years ago. We have to change our role and have a sort of uh, task of intermediary between uh, users, scholars or users in general, and <coughs> objects, manuscripts or, or documentation information. So this, uh, uh, this, um, uh, this sort of cooperative catalog could be uh, 
I don't think this is the solution, but a very good contribution to have more data to have uh, to um, to share among the, the, the scholars. So I think that this is a one point, maybe it's a minor point, but uh, for people like us, for Liberians, it's very very important. Well, it is an important point, <clears throat> but in a recent article, uh, in a follow-up to his 2006 article on the Biblioteca Manuscripta Universalis, uh, Ezio Ornato uh, suggested that librarians could contribute skeletal descriptions of the images that are being put online, uh, containing essentially all the information that cannot be gathered from the images, and then let people outside uh, contribute to the description based on what they can see on their screens, which is theoretically one possibility. The main difficulty, uh, difficulty as I said before, is that professional researchers now are being assessed all the time and asking what they're doing and how many things they have signed and so on. And so it's mainly a, a sociological problem of how much labour uh, researchers are going to put into this kind of thing. Um, there have been instances uh, in which that kind of concept has worked out very well, and this is actually in archives, working not with professional researchers, but with fans of genealogy, you know, putting up on the internet registers with lists of names, and these people were reading out the names and typing them in uh, hundred by hundreds uh, every hour. This has worked out very well in a couple of uh, archives in France, but uh, more and more tend to think amateur researchers uh, are becoming more productive than professionals because they, <laughs> because they are free to do as they like, you know? use their time as they like. So this comes to the, the topic of uh, the interoperability with the public, mm. the 2.0 applications. Yes, right. And then, uh, well, this has been last discussed, this matter has been discussed a lot in the, by German librarians. And the question is, is very, the answer is very ambiguous. On the one hand, support by the public is welcome for a catalog of library materials. On the other hand, there should be someone who to control it. There should be someone to check out whether it is valuable, the contribution of the public. And there it is, um, well, the sources are very limited, that's one. Second is, there is for Manuscript and Medievali, there is a, a button which you can put, which you can push, or which you can write an addition or a correction to existing descriptions of manuscripts. Yes. But this possibility is very rarely used. Mm. It's and used also in Gallica, there's also a function. You can also press a button saying, I think there's something wrong in this description. So we sometimes get such uh, reactions, but very few. Mm. So in that sense, the community of the public of archives is different from the community of the public of libraries. Oh, yes, definitely. definitely. Um, regarding the um, plurality of descriptions, maybe it would be a very good idea to give up the idea that there is only one valid description of an object. Um, in Europeana we have discussed this at length and um, the data model we've put in place allows for several concurrent descriptions of a given item um, using the so-called proxy mechanism. Um, and you need that when you have different communities at work that have completely different views of what an object actually is. Uh, take the librarians, for instance, when they describe books, they describe physical attributes at length and then they may add a keyword, a, a index term, a classification thing, but that's about 5% of their description. Uh, they do not deal with content, neither do they deal, by the way, with what you are proposing with context. They just uh, describe physical attributes. And then you have other people like, for instance, from the archival communities, which are not object-driven at all. For them, an object only exists as part of an event of a process. Um, and you absolutely need to allow for a variety of 
concurrent restrictions present on one given object. And if we give up that idea of the unique description, I think we get much further. Well, that brings us once again to the different conceptions of uh, databases by institutions, by uh, cultural heritage institutions, uh, databases for researchers and so on. In what measure can we bring them together? Hmm. We use database or description. Right. I don't want to stress the point I tried to uh, to present before, but uh, I think uh, Professor Gradman is uh, right when he said that uh, the problem is if you are using an entity relation model, you you need to have a real, a, a valid, uh, an author, an authoritative description because it's very hard to have concurrent descriptions in an entity relation model. If you shift in a semantic web uh, model, you have, I don't think that the uh, concurrent term is uh, so, um, uh, has to be used. I prefer to use uh, another way of presenting the, the issue. You have, not concurrent, but some kind of layers that could be overlapped, the one over the other, to have a much more complete uh, representation of the object you are seeing. Because there are no objects, but representations of the object, of the different aspects of the objects. So, in a database, all this stuff is very hard to implement. We need to shift to another model of uh, data re representation, and I think this is the, 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 the issue of the following years for our community.